So I'm just going to look into, we're going to do a reading. We're going to look into the energy, see what needs to be brought forward at this time. I don't have a specific subject that I'm going to be looking into, but the energy of the throat chakra is floating here. You see the blue lights coming through. You know, I hope y'all like the new energy. I like to switch it up. So throat chakra is what I'm picking up on strongly. Let's start off with the Declare and Decree deck. If you find this message resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. It helps to get the video circulating so that others can hear the message as well. So let's see what y'all need to destroy and release at this time. So I have here all external blockages created by myself or others are cleared in spirit and in flesh. In flesh, so external blockages created by yourself or others. If you want to order this deck, just email me. Now, external blockages could be anything. You might feel like your finances are slow. You might feel like your love life is not going anywhere. You might feel like um, certain things are going on with your children, or you've been trying to get this partnership or this job. It could be anything, and you feel like you're hitting roadblocks. So, putting this on paper and burning it, I declare and decree all external blockages created by myself or others are now destroyed in spirit and in flesh because it could be internal things or it could be external situations where people are trying to block you. So with whichever way it's coming from, you want to declare and decree that that's out of your life. So let's just pull one card from my Heal Yourself deck. This is going to show you what chakra you want to focus on. I'm already intuitively picking up on the throat chakra, but let's just see what comes out. It could be anything right now. So this is Afraid to be authentic self around others. This is the root chakra, okay? Root chakra energy. So the collective needs to work on the root chakra right now. Okay, so since we pulled the root chakra, I got the root chakra vibes coming through, okay? So we got the root chakra vibration, the color red, listening to those frequencies, getting more connected and grounded. This is speaking on fear of being your authentic self around others. So there could be some parts of yourself, you know, many of you have gone through great transformations out there. And maybe some of you have some apprehension about showing the world the new you um, and who you have become. So putting that on paper as well, destroying and releasing all fear of being my authentic self around others in spirit and in flesh and burning that. So let's just pull another one and then we're going to get right into the reading to see what's going on with y'all out there. So this is from my diary of a spiritual black sheep. So I have here, you intuitively know it's time to take action towards something. It'll take more emotional healing before you have the drive to complete something that may seem burdensome. Once you clear this energy on an emotional, spiritual, and physical level, you will be able to gather up the courage to take action. So you're being called to move on something right now. But there are certain blockages that has been preventing you from doing that, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual blockages, which makes sense, though, because the first card that came from the Claire and the Creed deck says all external blockages created by myself or others are now cleared. So there's something that you're being called to do. And once you do the spiritual work to clear out those blockages, you're going to be ready to take action here. And that action could deal with you stepping forward to the world and really showing the world who you are. Okay. So let's just see, let's just pull, this is a general message to see what's going on with the collective chosen out there. Okay. So we're starting off with the two of cups. So this could definitely deal with partnerships, friendships, okay? Any type of connection here. This could be love, romantic love. Let's see what's going on with this two of cups. Because this is two people that resonate with each other on a soul level. It's a strong bond that two people have. And they openly share themselves with one another. So what comes out to clarify that is the king of cups. Okay, lots of cups with two cups coming out so far. So emotions are definitely involved in this relationship. Um, this king of cups look really, he looks very laid back, chill, very confident. I feel like whoever this person is, it doesn't have to be a man. It could be whoever. They feel very confident in their emotions for you. They feel confident in where this connection 
is going to go. They feel confident in knowing that you are their soulmate on some level, whether it's a friendship, relationship, partnership, however this works, someone feels good about this. Their heart is definitely open. This is definitely a soulmate connection here. Let's see. Wow. The page of cups. Some of y'all are either water signs or you got water strong in your chart or you just highly in your emotions about someone here. This feels very new. It feels fresh, but there's still a lot of emotions that's involved in the situation in spite of that. If you haven't met this person, someone will be coming into your life that's going to be a strong soulmate here. But I feel like somebody is very enamored, like they are smitten by you, okay? Let me look into this King of Cups here. What's going on with this King of Cups? I feel like they speak from their heart. Whoever this is, they speak from their heart. Because it's a lot of turquoise here. And turquoise is the combination of blue and green. So I'm thinking the heart chakra with the throat chakra. They, Whenever they communicate, they speak from their heart. But for some of you, there might be a fear of being your authentic self. So maybe there's a fear of openly expressing these emotions. Somebody wants to say something here. Yeah. Somebody is being blocked. The, the uh, Seven of Wands. Now, this card coming out to clarify the King of Cups. Somebody is blocking this person from coming towards you. And they look like they'll stop at nothing to do it. This person looks angry. These are new cards for me, y'all. I had to get these because the images on here say a lot. And so I feel like it was going to en enhance the readings here because I am a visual person as well. This person is angry that, that this King of Cups has redirected their focus. And they're trying to block this person from coming towards you. Let me see. Let me clarify this seven of wands. Who is this person? Hold on, because that came out too fast. Let's clarify the seven of wands. Okay. So the seven of wands is clarified by the six of cups and the king of pentacles. Hmm. This is someone who might have had some sort of past connection to this person, long-term connection, maybe even from, you know, from when they were younger, from childhood. Because with this Six of Cups, you know, it's two people here. This person obviously is much older than this child. I feel like this person, whoever's trying to block this King of Cups from coming towards you, like I said, male or female, they are either trying to bribe this person, trying to emotionally manipulate this person by giving them something or by offering them something because they, it's almost like they feel like they have an advantage. They have an advantage over this person emotionally because they feel like maybe this person is more, is emotionally immature or something like that. And they think that they can manipulate this person by giving them something or offering them something. It's almost like this person is trying to get this, to distract this person from this Ace of Cups right here. Because even though this is the Six of Cups, this cup over here stands alone. And they're standing right in front of the cup as if they're trying to distract them so that they don't see the Ace of Cups, which is a new opportunity in love. And I feel like they're blocking this person because this person, this, I feel like this King of Cups is the same person here. This King of Cups is this, uh, is this King of Pentacles. That's the same person. They're trying to prevent this person from coming towards you because this person may be financially stable. I feel like they might've benefited from having this person in their life on a financial level. And they know that because this person has a lot of love for you, the way that they used to give to whoever this person is that's trying to block them, they know that they're not going to give to them anymore. This person is trying to block this King of Cups could also be the parent of their child because it's coming out 
with this page of cups here and with the six of cups. Whoever this is is trying to block could be the parent of this king of cups child. So the person that has a lot of feelings for you is definitely on some other stuff right now. Let me see. What is their issue? Why are they trying to block right now? Of course, when people end up losing someone this good, a king of cups and a king of pentacles is someone who's generally very loyal, very loving, very kind, very generous. They are a good provider. They are a supporter. I mean, they're stable. What more can you ask for? They're emotionally secure and balanced. And so I feel like this person now, they're starting to realize that whoever gets this person is coming towards you is going to be very, very blessed because they fumbled the ball. This person right here fumbled the ball, okay? I feel like they have a very dark energy about them. Who is this? Why are they trying to block this King of Cups from coming towards you? Hmm. Because they feel blocked, look, and they feel left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This King of Cups may not be talking to them anymore. Um, and now they feel like they're left out in the cold. They're dealing with some abandonment issues. They can't trauma bond this person is coming towards you anymore. So they're rushing in. They have a whole lot to say. It's almost like they're telling this person, you're abandoning your child. You're abandoning your family. If you walk out and go towards this new connection, you're um, leaving us out in the cold. You just want to go and play house over there, but you don't want to take care of your family here. It's like they're dramatizing everything. They're making it to be way more dramatic than what it really is because this person just wants to be with their soulmate. But this person is blocking is feeling abandoned. But apparently there's a reason why. There's a reason why this person left them. So yeah, because the temperance is in the reverse. They got a hot temper. They don't know how to balance their emotions. Okay, with this coming out in the reverse, they have no emotional balance whatsoever. And I feel like whoever this person is, they found that in you. You seem very grounded. They, they may even see you as being like an earth angel or a very divine being, okay, that's connected to nature and the mother, uh, you know, the mother, the father, the most high. They feel like the two of you have something to offer to one another because you already poured into your own cup. You've been pouring in your own cup for a long time. And so now the two of you have something to offer to one another where you can give to one another and pour into each other's cups and neither one of you end up feeling depleted from this relationship. But this past person, their temperament, they were very hot tempered. And you could tell just by the way this woman looks. She played on this person's mind using he or she might have might have played on this person's emotions. I hope the fan in the background is not too loud for y'all, but it was starting to get a little hot up in here. I think that's also, you know, showing just how heated this person is. Because they're very disappointed that. This person is loving. They redirected their focus. Let me see something here. So they're trying to block. Let me see what are they doing to block this person from coming towards you? Because I feel like you might already have a connection with this person. It may be very new. Okay. It may be very new and fresh with the page of cups here, but it's a very strong connection from the beginning is what I'm picking up. What are they doing to block this person or at least to attempt to? Because I just heard divinely faded. It was meant for this person to come. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Three of Pentacles. Somebody, this woman right here that's in this uh, picture is, she's pregnant. Well, at least she looks pregnant. I don't know. Maybe she's not. But the first thing I'm thinking is pregnancy. So it could be that they're using the child as a way of manipulating this person from coming towards you. It's something about the children. Now, is there a current pregnancy? I mean, everybody's situation is different. But if that's the case, then somebody is highly emotional because they are fearing being abandoned. But that would be only for some, you know, for a small few of you. But someone 
is definitely trying to use a third. It could be someone's mother, too, because I'm picking up that energy, too. They might be trying to manipulate this person's mother or trying to use their own mother to work against the emotions of this person. Let me see. But they're definitely trying to stop them. Yeah. Six of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Six of Swords in the reverse. And generally, the Six of Swords, there's usually a child in the original deck that's in the boat with this person. Somebody might have to take care of an elderly mother. And they're trying to make someone feel guilty because they have these responsibilities, whether it's for their children and their uh, elderly parents or something like that. And they're trying to make this person feel guilty because they're not providing for them the way that they used to. I feel like the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups, if this person has children with whoever this is, they are a very good parent to their children. Okay, They're a very good parent to their children. So they're not going to neglect their responsibilities, but because this person doesn't have the luxury of the relationship, what comes with a relationship, because I feel like this King of Pentacles, King of Cups was very generous. They now feel bitter because they have to create abundance for themselves. Outside of the support that this person is given for their child, obviously, this person has to create abundance for themselves and they don't like that. They feel that they are owed something by this King of Cups, King of Pentacles. Three of Wands in the reverse. So they don't see a future without this person. They're so pessimistic. They feel like everything has completely come to a halt. They have no passion in life for anything. Like they can't, they don't see the way ahead. The only thing that they see is the past. They're very stuck in the past and they want to keep this person stuck in the past with them. But this person is like, no, let, let me see what's going on with this King of Pentacles, King of Cups. How do they feel about this person that's in this Seven of Wands energy? This person is trying to block them. So the Nine of Cups, I feel like this King of Cups is like, look, I'm going to do what makes me happy. You see how she's sitting on her, you know, her, I say her throne in some ways, you know, but she's sitting there with her uh, arms crossed. Like, I dare you to try to interfere with my happiness. I feel like this person is like, you're not going to stop me. You can try, but you're not going to be successful because this person has found their own happiness without that unhealthy energy that was trying to get in the way. The Nine of uh, Swords is here. I don't feel like this is the, the person that you're connecting with. This, this King of Cups, King of Pentacles could be you, okay, who has connected with someone that you know you have a soulmate bond with, but the past is trying to stop you, manipulating you or using something from the past, whether it's children or otherwise. This person is highly stressed out. They're stressed because you're happy. They're stressed because they know that this cycle has come to a completion with 9-9 nine, nine here. You're in this energy right here feeling good while this person is in the nine of swords you're in the nine of cups they're in the nine of swords and you are not going to compromise your happiness for anyone this person is, is that misery loves company they're losing sleep at night they are losing sleep at night at the thought of you being happy now independently though because it looks like with all these nines here some of you might still be single or you just became single but you're, you're single and you're happy being single and that's caused you to connect with your soulmate. And so now this person, I'm noticing a pattern, is that those who are really going through it, the hair is like completely white. It's like they are so stressed that it's affecting them physically. And the sad part is that they're stressed because you're happy. That's unjustified. That don't even make no sense. If they had self-love or if they would just have, be optimistic about their own future. But this card was in the reverse, so that means they're not. They're very pessimistic and they're looking back to the past, thinking of the worst case scenarios. But you, 
are seated on your throne. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I told you all of, wow, look at that. Five of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is going through it financially. Somebody is taking all types of losses. And I feel like they're trying to strike up as much havoc in your life as humanly possible. They are so bitter that you are independent. You're self-sufficient. You don't have to rely on anybody. They're afraid that you're going to merge with someone else who is in alignment with your energy and you're going to love on them the same way that they, you know, because they knew you for being that loving person. They know how you are. They know you're loyal. They know that you're generous. They know that you are a provider. And their biggest fear is that now that you are single, because I literally have 999 here. Some of you might have been seeing number nine. But now that you are single, independent, your harvest is growing, but you're not nine of pentacles anymore. You move into the king of pentacles. This is the energy that you're sitting in or that you're headed towards, which means very stable. And usually the king of pentacles is in a committed relationship, if not marriage. And so this person is stressed out trying to cause drama for you, maybe even uh, bringing other people in on this drama to try to work up against you because they want to just disrupt your energy. They need to disrupt this uh, happiness that you're projecting right now. You're looking too good. You're feeling too good for this person. They can't stand it. Let me see something. What is this five of wands all about? Because if they're trying to include other people, this is a bunch of other people that have nothing to do with what's going on with you and this person. But misery loves company, so it looks like they're willing to join in on the drama. They're just waiting to get tagged in. That's what it looks like. Five of Wands is clarified by the Page of Cups. Okay? They're, and this Page of Cups already came out initially from the other deck. They're trying to use the children, okay, to create drama. Or they're simply just trying to stop you. They're trying to cause chaos so that you will not take this new offer that's coming in or make this offer to someone else. Yep, strength card in the reverse. Wow, knight of swords. They're trying to rush in because they want to weaken you. They want to throw you off your path. Because right now you're so strong. You're seated in the strength energy. I can see that from the beginning, from the cards that came out in the beginning. You're here. But they're rushing in, okay? Spewing whatever it is that they can say out of their mouths like they are determined to start some drama for you right now. This person is moving fast too. They're like, no, I gotta take them off of their throne. Because why? Because you've cut them off. You're probably being very stern with this person. You're being very straightforward and direct about what you're not gonna tolerate. But see, this person with this Queen of Swords and this Knight of Swords, they come in with this foolishness and you sitting right there like, I'm not running from you. If you got something that you wanna say, say it, but I'm gonna definitely make it very clear to you that we, you're not coming over here with that type of drama, okay? So somebody is trying to test you. They're trying to see if they can make you afraid, but you are not afraid. If you was afraid, you wouldn't be sitting so still on this throne here. You like, get, come on Cletus, it ain't but a short walk over. Okay, so this person is, I mean, they're angry charging. It's like they want to charge at you. That's how angry they are. Yeah, death in the reverse because they don't want this to end. They know that it's, it's done though. It's over with. Their time is up. Let's, let's see what they want to say. What does this Knight of Swords want to say to the Queen of Swords? You are the Queen of Swords. What do they want to say to you right now? Three of Cups in the reverse. They're trying to make it seem as if you're just out here doing you, partying it up. You know, I think they're trying to make you feel guilty that you're no longer collaborating with them anymore. What they're also trying to do is say that you've been involved with all of these different people. They want to, they want to try to make it seem as if you already had this new person in your life when you was dealing with them. That's how, that's how they're going to try to play it out. But they're lying, though. They're lying. They're trying to investigate. They want to see. Let me see. 
what does this Knight of Swords want to say? Yeah, justice in the reverse. Look at that, Three of Swords. I told you, this is all about third party. They are, they want to say, you've been seeing somebody else. You know, Page of Swords. Oh, I saw you texting this person or looking at that person on social media. I saw or I heard all types of gossip, childish communication, justice in the reverse. They're going to say that something that you did is unfair. It's unjustified. Some of them are mad because you're actually divorcing their asses, okay? Or you already divorced them. But they don't feel like they got what they're, they're going to say they didn't get what they were supposed to get. It wasn't fair the way that you did it. Because you already had third parties in the relationship. That's what they're going to try to say. But again, you see it on your throne because you recognize that what they're bringing is all BS. So the hangman is here. Yeah, I told you the ace of swords in reverse. They ain't doing nothing. They're lying. Okay, they're not truthful. They're not honest. But what they're trying to do is gain some clarity here. So they're going to come rushing in, spewing lies, making all types of accusations that don't even make any sense. Okay. Based off of, you know, some things they might be able to pull from things from the past. So some of them might be truths, but have truths, right? And so they're going to try to pull whatever they can from the past because they're trying to disrupt your energy. The whole point is to weaken you because if they can weaken you at that point, that's when they come in with their malicious intent. That's when they come in to try to throw you off course so that they can distract you from this new connection that you have in your life, okay? It's all about distracting you from this Two of Cups, this new opportunity, because they sense, they know that you have moved on and that your heart is elsewhere because you're not responding to them the way that you used to. Yeah, look at this, Ten of Swords. This person has betrayed you. They betrayed you time and time again, okay? And it's over with. You're not going to let this person do these things to you anymore. They, for some reason, yeah, for a long time, because this card says everything is fine. Everything is fine with the Ten of Swords. Which actually is kind of interesting, because out of all of these cards, it's the only one that's not labeled like the other ones. So you might have stayed with this person for a long time, pretending that everything was okay. You took a lot of betrayal from this person. They hurt you over and over and over and over again. You might have seen, because this person is looking at somebody's phone. You might have seen this person texting, talking to, dating, doing all types of stuff in their phone in the past. Like they hurt you a lot. And you pretended that everything was okay because for whatever reason you wanted to hold on to the connection. But um, this person is going to come in and they're going to try to do reverse psychology on you because they're trying to gather information because they don't have full clarity on where you're headed. They need to know what's going on. Who are you talking to? Where, where, where is this Eight of Cups taking you? Because they know you've walked away. They know they see your back. They know that you're not entertaining their energy anymore. I told you the hierophant in reverse. That means that a lot of y'all have gotten a divorce. Or you're not interested in leveling up in a relationship with this person anymore. Seven of Cups. You got options. You have options. And so they're going to try and make it seem as if if you're divorcing this person or you've already divorced them, they're going to try to bring it up and make it seem as if you always had all of these options. You've always been dealing with other people. And that's the only reason why you're walking away. That's the only reason why. But in the meantime, in the meantime, this person is well aware that this was their energy. They were the players. They were the ones that was out there just doing all types of things, hurting you at any given moment, okay? And so, let me see. Look at this, five of wands in the tower. This person is nothing but drama, my goodness. Like, dang, it seems like even when you was with this person, the type of hellfire that this person brought into your life, this is a karmic times a thousand that was in your life here. And they know that in the past they could do certain things. They could hit certain triggers that will cause a argument, that will cause a major fight. And that's what they want. They want to create chaos and wreak havoc in your life. I would say definitely go to the most high about this person. 
speak to your spiritual team about this person so that they can go ahead and handle them. Because this person, if they given the opportunity, they want to try to strike up a fight that could create a tower moment in your life because they're that angry about you. The lovers is at the bottom of this deck, and I actually saw it at the bottom of this deck. Oh, well, it's gone now, but it was at the bottom of this deck as well. So they, they're doing this because you have found someone who is, in fact, a soulmate. And there's the Hierophant in reverse again. You, you're divorcing this person. You are moving the hell on, okay? Like I said, everybody is not getting a divorce, but y'all not putting in the effort towards this person anymore because too many secrets have been revealed. And again, the Ten of Swords is right here. You've picked yourself back up, though. You're not focused on these Ten of Swords anymore, and that's the thing. This person, they're testing to see if you still care. So if they can trigger you into an argument, maybe in the past you would have gone off into bringing up what they did to you, who they did it with, how they hurt you, and that did something for their ego to at least make them think like, well, she, he or she might, they must not be happy if they can still talk about those things. But now you're not even entertaining them. That's what's getting them. That's what's really getting up underneath their skin is the fact that they call you or they come towards you if they have to pick up the children or y'all have to do some sort of exchange in that way and they try to rush at you with some foolishness and you just, you got this straight protective barrier around you that's like, okay. Yeah, so we're not doing that. Here's the children. Uh, let's keep it moving. And you're going about your way. Still smiling, still happy because you got other things to look forward to that's far greater than this foolishness that this person is trying to bring. And so, look, you dropped a burden. You, you, are, not carrying this, you are not carrying this mess anymore. Ten of Wands in reverse, you, it, it was heavy. Dealing with that person was nothing. You felt like the world was on your shoulders dealing with this person. You, this person had you doing a lot. I feel like you put in the heavy lifting in the relationship in the past. And you tried your best to maintain your home or whatever it is that you created and built with this person. But now you realize it's not even worth carrying anymore. You did your part. You, you put in what you could and it's, it's over with. Once you drop that 10 of wands, it's like, no, I'm about to go, go to the ace of wands. I'm starting something brand new. Look at that. Eight of Wands in the reverse. It's not, you're not moving forward with this person on any level. You don't even want to communicate with them. I feel like many of you have blocked them. If there's communication, you only communicate about what's necessary. If you have children together, you communicate strictly about what they need, what time you're going to get them, what time you're going to drop them off, and that's that. Okay? Four of Wands. You're at peace with this. You, you've laid this to rest. You've been praying You've been healing, okay? You've done the work on yourself to where you've put those those three swords that they had when they hurt you and bruised you, you've hung them up, okay? That's no longer your focus. You took the time out to heal, and this is why this person is going through it. Nine of Pentacles in a reverse. Now, this Nine of Pentacles has come out in the reverse twice. Let me clarify this because of, I feel like this is definitely that person's energy. They're taking losses. Like, they are literally financially in shambles nine of pentacles in the reverse that's another reason why they're bitter so let's see nine of pentacles in the reverse Ooh. wow whoever you are whoever you are the ten of pentacles with the ace of pentacles this union that you're getting ready to come into you're going to be set I'm talking about set set financially overflowing with abundance because this is a gift to you by the most high this person is pissed because they know that you are getting ready to move towards a relationship that's not only going to be long-term stable but y'all are going to be set I'm <laughs> wow wow so the nine of Pentacles in the reverse, this is them. They missed out. They missed out on that opportunity because they wouldn't stop wreaking havoc and pain and drama in your life. This is all they did. Like this person is a straight up devil. Whoever this is, like you did the, the, the best thing that could have happened to you was this tower coming down in your life where this person will be catapulted out of your, uh, out of your energy 
even if you still have to deal with them on small levels because you had children with them, the best thing you could have done was to leave this relationship alone because you got something beautiful that's getting ready to come in. If it's not already here, my goodness. The way these cards popped out together, this person is bitter. Because look at this, the Ace of Wands, there it is. I told you, you drop that Ten of Wands that was heavy. And once you drop that Ten of Wands, you pick up the Ace of Wands. Okay? You pick up the Ace of Wands. That It, it's, it only makes sense. So you got brand new opportunities. So if, I got a lot of Aces coming out here. A lot of Nines, a lot of Aces, a lot of Fives. So Aces are number one. Brand new beginnings, new opportunities coming through. Nines is the completion of a cycle. Something is nearing completion. It's almost finished up. It's almost done for. Okay, maybe there's still some things that you have to wrap up when it comes to this past partnership to make sure that things are in better alignment for your future relationship. And then the number fives deals with a whole lot of changes. Okay, things are changing. You're changing. You're changing the way that you deal with this person. You're changing the amount of focus. You don't give this person any of your attention or focus anymore. Because you got somebody in your energy, this Queen of Wands, I feel like this is somebody that you're very passionate about, you're very attracted to whoever this person is. I got a lot of fire energy, fire energy and water energy coming out. So, but I got a little bit of everything. Taurus is strong here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I also have Gemini, Scorpio. So you got a lot of energies here. But, wow, look at that, Ace of Cups. I told y'all, this is a brand, this is your gift because you made the sacrifice to let this person go. Maybe at one point it was hard for you to do that. So what is this person's next move? What are they planning right now so that y'all can have a heads up on what this person is doing? Because I see them trying to come in. It's like they sit down at night and they think of different scenarios. What can I say now? What can I say that might get this person to show me some sort of attention? This person is dealing with serious abandonment issues and traumas. And rather than focusing in on themselves, they are focused on you because they know, they see your value. I think they knew your value back then, but they took it for granted. So this person, what they're planning is the seven of pentacles. They're going to come in. I feel like they're going to try and act like they want to nurture the seeds that y'all planted in the past. But you can't trust this person. What's behind this Seven of Pentacles? What is this person planning? I told you. There's the moon. You can't trust this person. Behind this false, you know, them acting like, oh, I want to water the, the seeds that we planted. You know, we put all of this time and energy into the past. So let, let me, you know, I want to nurture it. I want to work on it last because the moon is right here to show that there's secrets. So let's see, what's the moon? And it's a, it's a creature coming up out of this water. So it's, it's just something, something is going to, even if they try to hide it, it's still going to reveal itself. But it's going to take for you to take the mask off and turn around. Okay? Take the mask off and turn around. And you'll be able to see that creature lurking because there's something here that's just not right about this person. Let's see. What is the moon? They're going to come in acting like they want to build. They want to start off, start where you all left off and nurture the seeds or whatever. Shh. That plant been rotten. Okay? Look at that. King of Wands. The moon is clarified by the king of wands. Mm, I'm picking up for some of y'all. This person might be trying to do some sort of sex magic here. Let me clarify. The moon. They're going to try to pull you back in through, with sexual energy. That's what they're going to try to do. Because you're already coming out as the queen of wands, which is just energy. So the queen of wands is like somebody that's very confident, very passionate, very creative. Okay, you're, you're really in your flow when it comes to your creativity right now. But this person also knows that what the two of you shared in the past was a very strong sexual connection with one another. So they're going to try to come in with the King of Wands clarifying the moon. They're going to try to use their sexual energy to lure you back in. Clarifying the moon again. So this is what you should be looking out for when it comes to this person. Huh. It's still going to be illuminated, though. The moon is clarified by the sun. 
They can't hide anything. You, I think you're going to catch on to this right away. Nine of Swords. This card came out in the reverse. I feel like they're trying to come in because they want to put you in this energy. They, they might want to try to come in and have sexual intercourse with you using sex magic to try to uh, attract you back to them to make to create that soul tie again because many of you cut cords with this person on a spiritual level but you're not going to fall for it because you see very clearly what the tactic is because I feel like they're going to try to come in have intercourse with you and then hurt you all over again and they may even go and start cheating or seeing someone else okay that's what I'm feeling like very strongly so do not fall for it when it comes to this person because they are very manipulative and they know how to use their attractiveness and that sexual energy to try to lure people in. But I feel like you've evolved so far past that to where sex is no longer, it's not that serious, okay? It's not worth setting you backwards, you know? It's not worth creating a soul tie with an unhealthy person that has no divine connection, no spiritual understanding like this person is just they're wicked as hell yeah you gonna stand your ground the queen of swords is not playing that crap so in this energy queen of swords has already come out twice they're gonna try that but you're not gonna go for it you're gonna be like listen i understand you know your your sexual energy is not enough for me okay you're not even gonna match their frequency they're coming in with the wand you coming in with the sword and you like, you can try to bring that thing near me if you want to, because you're going to get cut. It's going gonna, gonna to get cut off. So I ask, you know, I expect that you're going to stay within a good 10 feet. Don't even come near my energy with that old nasty thing that you got, okay? Because some of them, that's all they have to offer is the wand. And like I said, male or female is their sexual energy. That's the only thing they have to bring, but you're not interested. You are now, you know, the queen of swords is someone who's been through it all. And so she's gained a lot of wisdom about life and is she doesn't wear her emotions on her sleeves. And she most definitely is not going to allow somebody to use sex as a means to get her to let her guard down. So you're going to speak your truth to this person, letting them know that stuff don't work for me anymore. And you see how this person's fist is very clenched, you know, with this queen of swords uh, communicating that their fist is clenched tight because they're getting angry that you're not falling for it. They're angry about that. And this person looks significantly younger, even though they may not be younger age-wise, definitely when it comes to maturity, they are far younger, okay? But you have wisdom here. And your objective, if you have children together, your objective is to protect your children because that's a baby face right there. Your objective is to protect your, uh, protect your children. You cut through all of the clouds and the BS that they try to come with. You are not interested in this old nasty wand because some of them with the moon right there, they have been highly promiscuous and you don't want to touch anything that they've been touching. And that's just real. So let me see. I'm just going to pull a couple more cards and we're going to close out. Um, if you want a personal reading that's more catered to your circumstance, you can always email me and uh, book a reading. So let me see. Yeah, you see so clearly they can't hide anything from you. Like for the sun to come out to clarify the moon, <laughs> this person doesn't realize your gifts are very, very strong. Your, in, your intuitive gifts are very strong. You might even have dreams about this person because the moon was clarified by the nine of swords and the sun. You might even have dreams about this person that will show you what their real intentions are, what's really lurking behind the mask, okay? Because these people are wearing masks. Your dreams will show you what's really lurking and what their true intentions are, okay? So the sun is here to illuminate whatever was in the dark. So your spiritual team, they're not going to fail. They're not going to fail you. They're going to make sure that you see very clearly and that you put that sword up to protect your energy. Four of Wands, you're going to keep, wow, Four of Wands and the Two of Cups back to, it's like your three of swords in the reverse you're not even your heart is not even broken about this person anymore you have no more pain there i feel like you took the time out you really did some work on yourself to heal you did the shadow work and so your focus you're going to go right back to focusing in on this partnership that's in your life the soulmate connection that is in your life okay you are going to go back to putting your focus on them and that is going to lead that's going to lead to a long-term connection that is very very 
um, stable and solid. This person is just going to have to deal with the pain. They're going to have to deal with the spilled cups. They wanted to be out third party situations, doing all type of foolishness. They turned their back on that two of cups that you offered them. There's the two cups right there. There's the two cups. You offered this to them, but they turned their back on it because they wanted to focus on third party situations and those situations never panned out. It was just partying and foolishness, sex partying and foolishness. And now those cups have spilled. So now they have to focus. They have to grieve that. They have to feel that guilt because that's the only thing that's going to push them to change. So you said, no, I'm, I'm rejecting your little wand. Nobody wants that sexual energy that you're bringing because you are the empress. You are the emperor. You're going to stay on your throne. You know your worth. You know your worth. You know your value. And you will not allow this person to come in and take you backwards because to get into the empress energy, you've done too much work on yourself. So the empress only deserves an emperor. And that's who you are attracting into your life, which is beautiful. That's that king of cups, king of uh, pentacles energy that came out in the beginning so that's the message for you all congratulations to you all out there who have a beautiful soulmate union coming in you deserve it you've earned it so that's what i have for you all i love you and i'll talk to you all next time